Hello and welcome back everyone to City Skylines. Today we're back in New Vooper, not New Vooperus, New Vooper, and our underwater city. Now just an aside, I am in the new apartment now, so thank you for supporting me enough where I could actually afford this. Uh, and uh, don't abandon me or I'll go bankrupt. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Um, so last time we were working on the Corgi Stadium and several other infrastructure things in the Twitch stream, uh, beautiful underwater city over here. But you guys told me that I was absolutely stupid for the way I set up these highways. So we're gonna change them. We're going to do what you guys suggested. And instead of having them set up like this, where they connected together, we're going to have them be outlets to get out onto the avenues. Which makes more sense anyways. It's almost as if I'm bad at doing traffic. Okay, don't ask about this. It, it's working in my head, okay? It, it works in my brain. Because we're gonna bring this down like this. And we're gonna have this connect. Why is that going down? Okay, we're gonna have this connect down here, right? So this is pretty simple. This is pretty simple. It goes onto this avenue and this one's gonna go onto this avenue. So the idea being that we don't have two going onto the same avenue and causing too much traffic uh, to go into one because there's two. Because one plus one equals two. Shut up. Sorry, that was Zarin. <laughs> She's been annoying me all day. She did make me pancakes though, so I'm grateful. Okay, so there you go. There is my solution to the stupid highway system I set up. If you guys don't like it, whatever. We'll work on it, okay? We'll improve it, it'll get better. But that's what it said on the subreddit to do, and I do look at the subreddit occasionally, depending on how much I've been paid. What? I'm not going onto that toxic slime ball if I'm not being paid to do it. I'm joking, it's not a toxic slime ball. Our subreddit is actually pretty awesome. Okay, so now that we've got all this set up, we can set up a lot of these downtown areas. Um, really, without that much work, uh, it just needs to kind of be filled in. Like, things like this, super simple. We can actually bring them under the highway take advantage of all of our available, uh, what are they called? All of our available bridges here. So we can go under the bridges, which is fantastic compared to like going over the bridges, I guess, um, or not having bridges. But the bridges make things much, much simpler because we can connect everything together, which gives us a lot more traffic flow not just by adding more traffic, by actually, like, letting it flow more smoothly. I know you guys trust me when it comes to traffic management. I'm the traffic management god. I'm the Thor of traffic management. <laughs> Lightning flashes in the background. Okay, so, big plan here is pretty simple. Make as efficient of systems as possible. Silly, thank you for linking the subreddit. This is why I don't pay you, because you're too good for money. See? Too good for money. Silly, when you apply for college, all you have to say is, Spike Viper, a famous YouTuber, said I was too good for money. And they will just let you in instantly. That's just literally all you have to do. It's, it's an easy life you're going to be living now, silly. Easy life. And it's all thanks to your hard work and dedication. Okay, let's fix this strange road that's sagging for no reason. The road is like an overcooked piece of pasta. It's too floppy. Okay, shut up. Do not question. <laughs> 
Do not, do not question my quotes, okay? That was a great analogy. It was fantastic. You shut your mouth. It was great. Okay, um... Aaron is like four feet away from me, crawling on the floor. She says the carpet is soft, which it is, so she's not wrong. I just bought that carpet. Yeah, I expected, I budgeted, and I was like, yeah, it's going to cost, I'm going to budget about $1,000 for stuff on moving in, and now every five minutes I'm like, I've got something, this is going to be $50. I forgot to, I forgot a trash can. So we opened everything, all the stuff, so we've got like coffee machine box, you know, food, wrappers, We've got, like, Eminem, the rapper, and then we're like, wait, how do we throw this all away? Like, Eminem is so last year. And it was like we didn't have anywhere to put it, so I had to run to the store today just to buy a trash can. This, this is the life you live once you move out. Kids, thank your parents. Unless they're, like, terrible parents. In which case... Don't thank them. <laughs> because so then they don't deserve it. So inspirational. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to, like, be, be great. Okay, so let's, let's do our best. Bam. Oh wow, I already gave water to like all these people. I'm a really good person. See, I gave water to my people, Aaron. That means I'm a good person, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, see? I got you water today, does that make me good? I'm going to college in literally like two days. This is crazy. Why am I on YouTube right now? Are you kidding? <laughs> I, I didn't even bring my backpack and like college books, which were, by the way, a beautiful $600. Um, because, you know, Paper has gotten expensive. It's not like we've made a super efficient way to create paper in bulk, and uh, printing hasn't been invented yet, so it's super expensive to have everyone copy it by hand. So I see why textbooks are so expensive. Makes complete sense. I feel like there's something. But but the funny thing is, I I thought I was really smart. So my brother gave me the uh, oh my god the parking. We need to make places to park. My brother gave me an old textbook, and he was like, yeah, this will probably work for this year. I checked the ISBN number, like the number on the barcode of the book, and it's like not the same as the one that's required. So it's like, darn, that's sad. I can't use it. And then I, uh, I buy the books, and it turns out it was actually the exact same book. They literally just changed the ISBN number and they changed the title. No kidding. L they literally changed nothing in the book except they made it look like it was a different book. I was I was so so annoyed. Like that that's what my college experience has been so far. I have a professor who emailed me saying I expect chapters 1 and 2 to be done by the end of the week. We haven't even been to our first class yet. And we've got books, which I, I don't even know. Like, these books are insane. For the amount they, they cost, they should, like, they should be useful for something. Hopefully they are. Why are you pointing at the board? I can't hear you. Okay, so we're going to have to improve the traffic in these areas. Like I said, I may send this to Biffa. I'm gonna get like the basic stuff done here, um, just like expanding and making a beautiful city. Um, someone else can pick up my uh, mess for the parts that get messy. It's not my job to ensure it works well. I'm like Steve Jobs, you know? You got the vision, like you know what it should be when it's done. But then you have the, uh, the, the Wozniak, who's like the guy who actually does things. And then Steve Jobs takes all the credit for it. And then disowns his daughter. And thinks that eating only fruit will cure his cancer. And then dies. Except without the last parts. But that's actually what Steve Jobs did. Look it up. 
Okay, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna continue. Aaron, stop judging Steve Jobs. He was he was a visionary. He was a visionary. And enjoy your iPhones, guys. That man, that man had the idea. He may not have made them, but he had the idea to make something like them at some point. Hashtag go Apple. Okay, we've done all the zoning. It's just the city's so big it's being stubborn. So we're gonna do that thing where we force people to move in by gunpoint. One of the great things about being president is you can be like, hey, move in or die. I love it. And we're actually making a really nice low density area in here, so like, it's only like little kids we're pointing the guns. I don't know if I can keep making these videos, I'm gonna get kicked out of college. Oh god. Okay. Okay, continuing. Um, obviously because I'm in a, uh, apartment now, I can do a lot more Spike IRL stuff, which is great. That's like one of my favorite things about this. The Spike IRL stuff is going to be much more natural. Uh, we'll make- Aaron is actually going to make cooking videos. On your channel? What? On your channel? If you want to do it on Spike IRL, that's fine. You're Northern Spike, so close enough. That's fine. You can do it on your own as well. But it'll probably give you a bit of a head start. But uh, Spike IRL is is ready. Ah yes, the forced residence bill of 2019 strikes again. That's why I hate Trump. He forced me to live in this apartment. You see, the economy was so good I made so much money I had to move out. <laughs> the funny thing is, the, the lines of logic people use to complain nowadays about politicians, that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's pretty much a legitimate complaint I've probably seen before. College student complains he can't eat ramen anymore because he's making more money. Got ramen. <laughs> I got so much ramen. When you guys see Spike IRL, I got like... I, I never understood why college students ate so much ramen, because it's like not super impressive. But then I realized that you can get 10 things of ramen, so 10 meals, for $2. Now, that's capitalism. Like, being able to survive off of nothing. Like, $2, to put that into perspective, to make enough money to get 10 meals of ramen, I would have to go find 20... 40 bottles, 40 plastic bottles in the middle of the street and turn them in. And I'd make enough money for 10 meals. Can you do that in the middle of Sub-Saharan Africa? I mean, maybe you'll find an animal you can slaughter and eat, if but... If you live by the ocean, maybe. If you live by the ocean, you can fish, and that's even cheaper. Oh, I meant the plastic. You, the plastic? <laughs> <laughs> you were thinking so, so dark. Oh my god, okay. I wasn't thinking about the dying turtles, I'm sorry. I was thinking about... I was thinking about good food. Oh my god. Uh, fishing is fun. I, I'm being honest. Fishing is just great. Okay. Um, so everything's going pretty well with this city. I'm liking the design. It's looking a little bit... Uh, it's, it's flowy. That's what I like in a city. When it looks like it's uh, got a good flow. And like we're making sure that there isn't too much pressure in these uh, areas where the highway is coming off. We're making sure there's not too many intersections nearby. It's working really well. It's just this that needs to be improved. Like these bridges and stuff. There needs to be more ways to get from one side to the other side. It's almost as if I built three highways for that exact purpose. But, you know, it's city skyline. So people aren't going to use it. Um, the trains and stuff as well, just like one person serviced, better than zero people serviced, I guess. <laughs> I mean, for some reason this has no sewage coverage, but I don't know why, because you're connected to the same pipe. Are you just refusing the, the sewage? You are, you are literally just refusing it. Okay, uh, does that mean I just don't have enough? 
Oh yeah, search treatment is way behind. Okay, well it looks like the uh, dam district is going to get uh, another dam <laughs> supply of sewage. I am okay, shut up. <laughs> okay, there we go. These guys are going to be super happy. Except for the sudden onset flooding. Uh, that's going to be right next to them for a moment. But it's actually going to increase the amount of power created. So their electricity bill will go off. So they can't complain about the sewage flooding into their homes right now. Come on, guys. It's going to be okay. Just ignore it. <laughs> the dam district is actually making 500 megawatts. So, like, it's enough to power pretty much the entire city. We make much more power than that in total, but... Elon Park has completely recovered from that uh, tsunami way back. That's neat. Oil Island has also recovered. I'm very happy. Very happy. And this is so cool. Having the dam that's actually functioning and having the ferries go through it. I love that. Absolutely excellent design. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but I am. I, I am going to pat myself on the back because it's good. Oh, no. Don't read it yet. It's not oh. Oh, she's writing something on my whiteboard. I'm scared. It's giant. Okay, let me say that this underwater highway is also pretty awesome. This is pretty great. And people are actually starting to go around on here. Like, it's slow but steady, but the underwater city is actually being used kind of how it was intended to. Ten people have used the train now. Fifty-eight people have used the cable cars. Like, people are actually using this stuff. Very slowly but surely, we are gaining a little bit of mass transit. Aaron Tackle Spike. That's a bad idea. That, that's a bad idea. There's a green screen there, and if I fall into it, it'll be, like, really loud and expensive. And, I mean, I, I kind of care about my body as well, and I may get crushed because of her extreme strength. Apparently, Aaron is a noodle, and she I wants you no all muscle. to know that. I have no muscle. I'm a noodle. Okay, so... Oh, okay. There's slight worker issues, so I think we're going to zone some new residential. It looks like everyone is kind of sad because there's no parks or anything anywhere except for the stadium, which is underwater, but not actually underwater. Um, that's a normal sentence. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to zone a little bit of high-density residential over here. Now I'm excited for when it's all filled up and finished because then we'll have someone fix it up. Um, and we'll learn a lot, but I'd like to say that this highway system is actually flowing really well. And I think the issue really is the choices of where to get people onto the highway and off of the highway. But the highways themselves are just working really... Actually, this isn't that bad. This isn't actually acting that bad. I think more people are using the alternate highways, and I think that's actually helping out a lot when it comes to our traffic issues. So uh, hopefully that continues, and we can uh, nip more uh, traffic problems in the bud. I don't know why that's a saying, nip in the bud. Some... <gasps> if you kill them before they flower, they won't spread. Oh, before they bought. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> I never got that saying before. Never got it. Now I get it. Okay, there's a fire over here, so we're just gonna put a fire station on top of them. Now the fire station is on fire. Good solutions with Spike. Can you imagine that if like whenever something caught on fire, the government solution was to just airdrop a fire station onto it? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay guys, we've built up a very nice new section of the uh, underwater city. I'm glad to say this is our first video slash stream in the apartment and I'm excited for many to come. Thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, hail Vuperia, and I hope that you guys are happy with the quality, although like I have a ton more furniture and stuff coming in that'll make it better, so I will see you all then, and I regret to say goodbye. <laughs>